got, you know, his family, his lab partner, Tony, Lazarus Gaming, watching for him, cheering at home. Papa Spoto is in the building. He's cheering on his son. He said the family's back in Staten Island, watching, hoping that Spoto can make that championship game appear later on on ESPN2. This is as big as it gets. Both of these Madden player seasons are on the line. We're in the semifinals of the last tournament of the year. If you're not hyped for this one, I don't want to do business with you. First down. Oh, no! About a play early for the young gun, Mike Spoto. First play of the game, first turnover of the game. That is not a good sign for Mike Skimbo. I'm telling you, Nick, before he came out here on the stage, he was talking to me about he was worried how well Spoto's defense played on him. Yeah, let's take a look at this Snickers replay, the first play of the game, the three-time belt winner, gift wrapping an interception. Mike Skimbo, you're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. What a way to start for the young gun. That's going to be rough for Skimbo. Don't adjust your TVs. That is Walter Payton carrying the ball for Spoda. Undefeated so far here at the ball, 4-0. Oh. I'm going to take out the three-time belt winner. Eagle, Eagle. Eagle, Eagle. Up, up. Double, double, How about this? This final four field tied for the fourth youngest of all time. 23 years old average. Spoto the youngest of the four at 17. Nah, 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 nah. No chance. He has no chance for you. And if you like capping, if you like talking, you're going to like Spoto. Already here in the red zone. Good defensive play there by Skimba. And here you go, Nick. You're going to take a look at Spoto's offense. He's definitely got some goons out there on the offensive side of the ball. But one of the things I want you to pay attention to on this screen is the, this cap right here on the defensive side of the ball. He spent 551 cap. So Spoto's not one of these guys that spent all of his cap on offense. He's going to be strong on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. Right there, you see 584 cap on offense and 551 cap on defense. Balance. That is really good balance, and the reason he's able to do that is the only chemistry ability he have on his quarterback, I believe, is that conductor. Third and 11, Skimbo looking to hold Spoto to a field goal off the first interception. Mike Vick at the helm. Stepping up, good contain on the edge. He'll have to throw it away. A stop for that Skimbo defense. And excuse me, the only chemistry ability Spoto has, it's not the conductor, it's the gunslinger ability on his quarterback, Nick. That allows him to throw the ball deeper, quicker, and trigger less wind-up animations as he settles for three. A win for the Skimbo defense, holding the young gun. And remember, this is exactly how Skim started off against Canes. He got stopped on his first possession of the game, held Canes to three, was able to right the ship and go on to win that ball game. Skim's going to have to repeat that here in the semifinals against the young feisty Spoto, who is playing extremely well right now. He's playing with a lot of confidence. He's playing loose. It's going to be a tall hill to climb for the great Michael Skimbo. First and ten. Right now the middle of the field. The defense from Spoto, huge early. Three nothing. Spoto an early lead. Nick Mazesco Archie here at the desk for the first of our two semifinals. Oh no, that's a bad pass! Come on! You're blind! You are blind! Look at Spoto, he's talking to Mike Skim. I'll tell you what, that's not going to face Skimbo, though. Take a look right here at Skimbo's offense. He's got Mike Vick, Kenny Galladay, Randy Moss, Julio Jones, and Shannon Sharp with a little Joe Mixon. Let's see if they can get it done for him. Right now, they're having trouble moving this ball. A nice dump off underneath, and Julio Jones oh, takes a big hit. He'll pick up the first down. 
There we go. There's another look at Skimbo's offense. Take a screenshot, clip it in case you want to get in this game room. Copycat the lineup of one of the best players in the world. And I'm curious. I want to take a look at Spoto's defense if we get a chance here, too, because I want to see how he spent some of that cap with that extremely balanced team that he has out here. First down at 10. Maybe that settles down. Skimbo a little bit. Vic. Middle of the there field. it is. Kenny Galladay, the Detroit Lion, first down. Skim finally gets a big play, moving that ball on the Spoto defense. And let's take a look at Spoto's defense. Speaking of it, you see out here, Nick, he's got some goons in the secondary, and that is going to help him against this prolific skip pass and skimbo offense. They're not the greatest defenders, but he's deep at everywhere in the secondary. They're all 90 plus overall with good speed. Oh, oh, you oh, second oh, pick. You can't make a ring at all. taking it. Give me and he's broke the tackle. Six, and he's got room. He's in open space. Wave goodbye. The young gun Spoto. He's put six on the board. Oh my goodness. 17 years old. Hasn't even graduated high school yet. And right now he's in the semifinals of the Madden Ball, up 10-0 against who many consider the best Madden in player the in the go world. Back in the booth. And not only he said go is he winning, booth. he's capping at him. He's telling Skim to get back in the booth. He plays with a chip on his shoulder, Nick. And he's not intimidated one little bit and by you know, the three-time belt winner. You see this interception, and you know what? Some people like the cap, and some people can't stand it. And I'll tell you one thing. Spoto doesn't care Go if you like booth. it or not. Go back in the booth. He's aggressive and feisty 100% of the time, whether you love it or hate it. And now Skimbo, he's dug himself in a hole. Plenty of time left. Vic. Sack. You have no idea what to do. Lots of no four. Idea. He's on the ropes and it's only the first quarter. And Skimbo's just looking at him. And you look at Skimbo like a true professional. Doesn't even respond to the trash talk. Gets back and locks in. And that's what you're going to have to do if you want to get back in this ball game. If you're Mike Skim, there's plenty of time left. We're still in the first quarter with a little bit under two minutes. Oh, if you're Skim, you can get all the way back. He broke it. He's staring at him. The <laughs> This Kenny Galladay, 6-4, missed tackle. It's a long game. You can't cap it in the first quarter. It's a long game, youngin. And you gotta learn. I'm in your head. You're not in my head. I I'm just scored head. a touchdown. You're I'm in my in head. head. I just scored a touchdown. I'm in your head. See, cap A nice, calm, professional game, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they're in my head. I'm in a mental pretzel myself. This is intense, Nick. And this is going to be a momentum drive. You're both capping. You're both fighting for that momentum. Well, you can establish it right here on this drive. Is Spoto going to get points? Is Skimbo going to get a stop? I'm trying to stay calm, Nick, but I can't. This is intense. It's a buck 38 to go in the first quarter. Spoto, second and 10. They get the helm. Middle of the field. Oh! Lobbing it up! Lobbing it up! 30! It's taken down inside the 25! Shannon Sharp! predictable. 
Bodo calls him predictable, and that was a dime. A little lob over the zone, sharp up the seam. Skimbo lucky that wasn't a touchdown. Boom! I will say this, there's nothing scarier than a confident, locked in, angry Michael Skimbo. And a stop here, yeah. we might see him hit another level. I'll tell you what might be scarier if it's a confident, locked in, angry Mike Spoto. Because he is the moving youngest. this ball right now. Skim did have beautiful run D with Von Bell on that hit stick. Oh my God! Ooh. Madden Championship Saturday. Don't forget the action doesn't stop. Next, Drini and Little Man in the semis. We're playing all four episodes of Road to the Madden Bowl and leading up to crowning a Madden 19 champion tonight at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. What a day, and we appreciate every one of you joining us for this Madden Championship Saturday. Vic, third and long, look at right side. Big hit, fourth down. Your photo, you likely got to settle for three right here. Take your points and love it. That's going to give Skim a chance to get this ball back and take the lead. It's not a perfect kick. It could be a block chance here. You get a perfect kick. He would have needed to get that power bar right above that white line and below that red line. He's got the accuracy on point. Kick is up. It's good. Six point lead for the youngin, Mike Spoto. Mike Spoto, 17 years old, from the big city of Staten Island, New York. Michael Skimbo representing his small town of Claremore, Oklahoma, the hometown hero. Coaches Baseball has them all watching, rooting them on. Spoto's got the family back there in New York. Eating some good Italian food, cheering him on. There There's Papa Spoto in the house Papa right there. Spots. He's locked in. He's loving it. He's got to be proud of his boy. Oh, it's only the first quarter. Buckle in. Make sure you got your helmet on. It's going to be a long ride. Hey, let's take off. I'll tell you what, Papa Spoto's becoming a staple here at these events with how consistently Spoto's making them. There he is. Hanging out in the players' lounge. Look at them all locked in. They know this is a big game. Vic, last play of the first quarter. Skins calling the Got him! Galladay to the 11-yard line. What a first quarter we've had here in this first semifinal. Spoto up 13 to 7. Skimbo 11 yards out. Throughout the tournament, we're going ham on Twitch drops. We're giving away four gold or better players, a 200 pick currency quick sell, a competitive series trophy, and the 98 overall Madden 20 cover player, Patrick Mahomes. Make sure you click the link below to connect your Madden and Twitch accounts to earn. The longer you watch, the more rewards you earn. Speaking of rewards, we're getting rewarded with a a semi-final game for the ages. We're only one quarter in. Skimbo, 11 yards out. Got A, he missed it! Wow, oh, Moss can't make the play. Oh, that is a rare missed read from Skim, and he knows it. Shannon Sharp was wide open in the end zone. That may cost him. He's gonna go right back to it. Spoto works it. Vickens takes off. It's oh! A turnover at the two, the dangers of diving towards the end zone. Papa Spoto's failing it. Oh no, Mike Skim, you're in the red zone, you missed the touchdown. Rico and Boogs doing push up. Don't test Boogs, he's like 104 years old. He doesn't have to, he's the brittle bones, you can't do that. No, no, Boogs is in good shape. He'll do push ups all day he back there. He doesn't have the ACL anymore. I'm more worried about Rico. I'm also worried about Skim because Spoto has all kinds of momentum right there. He needs to watch out for his safety, though. It's a good run. The only player with Walter Payne on his team, the Chicago Bears legend. Look at this one more time. Look at this. Mike Thick, life on the line. Agassar, the Giants punch him in the mouth. We have said that's the
the risk with the dive animation all tournament long. And Skimbo pays the ultimate penalty for it on the one yard line. Momentum Spoto. Uh oh. Look at that Walter. The legend for a reason. Wow. You think Spoto's going to have something cool to talk about when he goes back to school? What'd you do on spring break? You know. Faced off against the three-time belt winner. Eagle, eagle. Capped right in his face. Picked him off. Recovered a fumble. You know, the Break usual. Peyton outside. Good edge contained there by the Skimbo defense. Yeah, young Spoto. He doesn't even graduate until May. And look at Skim. He's locked in right now. He's got the laser focus. I need to get my stick work up on this Telestrator. Second and ten. Opening the flat is Odell. Not gonna go anywhere though. Pick up a couple. Big third down. This is a big third down. Right here, if you're Skimbo, you need to try to force Spoto into a situation where he'll have to think about it going for it on fourth down. If you're Spoto, you could really frustrate Skimbo with this one if you could pull off this first down. A little bit of a momentum play right here, Nick. Nick. The Heat. Look at deep. Oh, I thought Ed Reed was going to pick the Skimbo. Can't believe he doesn't have the ball. And this is it. This is it. This is the fourth down. This is where you earn your money here at the Madden Championship, at the Madden Bowl. We saw the whole segment on it. If you skim, do you blitz? Do you drop them into coverage? If you spoto, you got to go to your best play on offense. It's that wheel on the right side. Look for skim to send the goons. Eagle, eagle. Three. Fourth and seven. Spoto. Flip picked up. Pressure coming. Look at right side. He dropped it. Skimbo gets the stop. What? Whoa. A defense by Skimbo. He sent the blitz off the left side. He manned up the safety, and now Kevin Strafen in on the push-ups. They're having a good time there in the players' lounge. There's Papa Spoto. He's not six cents. They're locked in, 19 yards away for Skimbo after a huge defensive stop. Vic. Pressure, down goes Vic, what a shed by the former Buckeye, Joey Bosa. Quarterback meet K-Sweet, and Joey Bosa has sweet tooth. Back and forth, non-stop action. Nick Mazesco, RG at the desk. Spoto and Skimbo in the semifinals of the Madden Bowl. Vic, second and long. Middle of the field, Shannon Sharp, put in oh, the talking. board. Look at me, hey, look, look, I'm right here. Keep talking, I want you to keep talking. I'm gonna grow you up today. You're 17, right? You're 17? You're growing up today, boy. You don't get in my head, you know who I am? I might lose this game, but no one gets in my head. No one gets in my head. I might lose this game, but no one. And I'm gonna kick it while I'm standing up on you. No one will ever get in my head. You know who I am. You know who you're playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You're going to do what I'm going to do right back. Like I said, I'm not losing this game, but you ain't in my head. Who gets in my head? Huh? He RG, I don't know if they need us anymore. I think they can just handle it the rest of the way. I could watch this all day long. Keep doing He's your thing, crazy. boys. I am impressed though with Spoto right there. Skim trying to get back at him. Capping. Usually the younger will let his emotions get the best You're of him sometimes. Out the worst of me too. That's what's sad. I need to control it. I know, Sean. <laughs> I think Spoto might be in his head a little bit. I, you don't see this from Skimbo. And the scary thing is Spoto's not buying into his trash talk. He's back. He's locked in. He's focused. He's maturing right in front of us. Lying, lying, lying. Baptism by fire, I call it. 
Oh, Icky, Icky. <laughs> Papa Spoto is cool as a cucumber back there. He doesn't seem phased. Spoto doesn't seem phased as he hydrates with some H2O. Skimbo settling back down. In semifinals action, both of these players already made $20,000. Trying to advance to that final game where they guaranteed themselves 25K, a chance to make it 40. Casual five grand game of Madden. Both of them chasing legacy. Seasons on the line, eight months of hard work. Fair to say we got a big game here. Hey. That's a great one. Sporo, I've been impressed. An incredibly patient runner. He really waits for those lanes to develop. I think what's interesting is if Skim would be able to pull off. Oh! They hit the backfield! He's gonna try to strip. How about this matchup, third and seven? We're under the two minute warning in the first half, and it has wait, been wait. entertaining, to put it lightly. Third down for Spoto. Vic at the helm. Chained up to play in this three wide set. Gotta watch Hooley on that deep cross. Uh, a little low pass. Great defense from Skimbo. He's not in his head. He's feeling good right now. Oh, no. look at Skimbo. He's cheesing. He knows this is a huge, huge play right here, Nick. Fourth and seven. There's Coach Skim calling a timeout. These icons, man. These icons. Don't forget, we got a full slate of action coming up next. Drini and Lil Man in the semis. We're replaying all four episodes of the Road to the Madden Bowl up to that final at 7 Eastern, but we'll crown our Madden 19 champion. It is a phenomenal day of Madden football, and we are so happy you're along for the ride. Fourth and seven. Spoto. Right side has a man. Odell. He's got first it. Down. And you know what's ironic, Nick, is you got in this semifinal, you got Skimbo. The other one, you got Trini. Two guys you fully expected to be here. But their opponents, Little Man and Spoto, probably the top two underdogs out of the entire 16 field here in the semifinals. No one was believing in them. They're continuing to believe in themselves. Pass left side. Oh, B. Jay! Look at Spoto, he's swagging around, and this is why we play the games, Nick. 49 seconds remaining in the first half. Quick, quick. That was huge, because now Spoto, good chance to get himself six. Even if he got stopped, he could kick the field goal and take the lead. He's got to make sure he gets points. Oh, it's oh, it's 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 And look at the emotion from Mike Skimbo. He puts everything into this game. Long hours, long nights, the sweat, the tears. And he's leaving it all out there on the virtual gridiron. May have just made the play of his life. What a hit on Walter Payton. I believe that was the Vaughn Bell. Skim said Vaughn Bell's gonna be one of the biggest factors for me. Oh, oh, he no! it over the other way. It's What happened there? I, I, I don't know. He, he threw it right to Smota. I, I have no idea who he could have been going to or what happened. I'm in shock. Boy, I thought the first quarter was good. Skim's frustrated. Look at that. They're standing up in the player's lounge. Hey, let's go. Hey, two nine, two nine, Everybody's on their feet. Get up, Jay Bird and Rico. <laughs> Boom. 14-13. Skimbo a slim lead. Not a lot of 
of time left in the first half. Remember, folks, hydrate. We know y'all at home are excited. We're excited. Everyone's excited. This has been a heck of a first semifinal. I'm going to try to just shoot the gap. Who's that? Ed Reed. Great run. Payton, though, very hit. Clock stick. Good timeout. Seconds left. Spoto will take his three. And he will go into halftime with a two point lead over the three time belt winner. What a finish to the first half, and we got 10 minutes to go. Keep him safe. Keep him clean. Have a good second. And we got our admin. I'm after the oh, first you're good, you're good, time. He's not good. cursed either. We're just yeah, no. giving right. them a warning. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Get a little heated. Keep it civil. Back to your corners. I'd rather see this good. 16 14. Spoto on top. Our chief. How's your heart rate? Mine's, oh my. I'm climbing 130. Nick, going down. I've genuinely been doing this for over a decade, and that was one of the best first halves in such a high stakes game that I have ever seen. That had to be an emotional roller coaster for both players. Uh, what a real treat for all of us. They're both putting on a show right now. And how about this first play of the game? And the the dad! From Skimbo. Spoto turned it into three. And if you thought that was as good as it gets, Boy, oh boy, Spoto taking another one back. And right there, Archie, it looked like Skimble a little bit on the ropes because Spoto broke this one to the house. That was huge. It was looking grim for Skim. But you know what? Skim Belichick, one thing go he- Go back in the booth. Well, Trash Hawk, tell him to go back in the booth. Skim says, forget about the booth. How about I get into the end zone for six? And no one's better at keeping it's their the composure game, than Mike you Skim. Spoto, right back over the top, though. Oh, touch pass, that was nasty. For Both the, the same adjustments over and over. Over and over, they're predictable. Spoda able to extend it to a 13-7 lead. But Michael Skimbo would not be denied. Shannon Sharp in the end zone. Shannon Sharp has been huge for Skimbo. That's been talking. the guy he's looking in at the red zone talking. if he doesn't go with the wheel route. I want you to keep talking. I'm gonna grow you up today. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You gonna get... <laughs> <laughs> And then how about this? This was crazy. This could have been a monumental turn of events. A big hit in the middle. That's Ball right back. back. Let's go! Come on! Right but back. then one play later. How about that? Right back in the hands of Spoto. Sean Taylor skin is looking for that short dig route. Spoto lurking around the vicinity. Look at the, <laughs> Look he at can't that believe face. it. Oh my goodness. Spoto able to kick a field goal at the end of the half. And that's where we stand. Madden gives and Madden 16, takes. 16, Madden gives and Madden. Spoto with a lead. We hope you've gotten your snacks, you've hydrated up. You've told all your friends to show up. 10 minutes, a berth in the Madden Bowl final. RG, the emotions are flowing, the game is flowing. Who knows where this will go? You know what, I can always use a Snickers. I don't think either one of those players needs a Snickers right now, because they just need to keep that same exact demeanor, keep playing hard, leave it all out there on the virtual gridiron. And we got Spoto's dad, Gary, joining us from the player, Players' Lounge. Gary, talk to us about the emotions watching your son in this game. Oh, they're extremely, extremely high. <laughs> we got to take blood pressure medication. <laughs> so are we. How do you think he's handling himself against what may be arguably the greatest player in Madden? Well, if you, you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, and that's the bottom line. Papa Spoto, does it make you proud seeing him in those New York Giants uniforms putting on a show? I, I know the family's Giants fans out there. You got that right. That's right. Yes, we are. All right, before we let you go, Gary. Okay, thank what, you. What advice would you give him if you spoke with him right now? Uh, clock management. He, uh, he, he's like hiking a ball with like 12 seconds on a clock. 
So uh, clock management, definitely. Gotta love seeing the support from the parents. Uh, Frodo's right. dad, Gary. Appreciate you hanging out with us. All right, thank you. Hanging out in the players' lounge. How, how proud must he be? What, what, when he was talking about clock and management, Skidmo said that in our interview after his quarterfinal matchup. How important is that in this game? Absolutely, and it really demoralizes your opponent. If you're up and you're just taking this play clock down to one or so seconds every time you see it, he hikes it with 17 seconds. All that's going to do is make Skimbo more comfortable. But when someone's doing that and taking it down to one second every time, it really makes you have more of a sense of urgency and less of a room for error. Real quick, though, one thing I want to say is this is what I love about Madden football. There's not many esports where a player's father can watch the game, completely understand what's going on, and even be able to give his son tips and legitimate tips on what he should be doing. That's one of the favorite things I love about Madden esports is it can touch so many different demographics. And it's, one, it's, it's why it's one of my favorite, favorite games of all time. And the parents get into it. They learn it. They want their kids to succeed. I mean, Papa Spoto's a football fan. He gets it. He sees what's going on. And he's into it. Third and two for Spoto. Look oh, at no! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Boy, could that have changed the complexity of this game. Instead, it's a fourth and two. In this play, I say it all the time, this is a big play. If there hasn't been enough. Line, line, line. Trips to the left side. Peyton on the right hip. Vic looking to throw Same for Same play. It. Beautiful read. Didn't overthrow this time. Picks up the first down. And beautiful right there by Mike Spoto. The key adjustment is that route was wide open on the last play. He goes right back to it. But this time without the high pass, avoids the risk of an inaccurate throw. That was a very, very mature play by Mike Spoto, and good job not using the high pass, which so many players do time and time again on those curls and hitches, especially when it's not even necessary. This youngin' is playing some real deal Madden football right now. And what a drive to start the second half from the young Mike Spoto. 231 and counting. Vic, pressure picked up, he'll take off. Look Whoa. back at the Whoa! end zone! <laughs> Thumbs up from Papa Spoto. He's got a two-score lead over the three-time belt winner. That touchdown was huge. How about that throw by the Vickens? Scrambles, rolls out to his right. Let's the corner route rip wide open in the back of the end zone. And most importantly, like you said, Nick, makes a two-possession ball game. Oh, no. Skim. One more time. What a job by Spoto. Right here, scrambles outside, but he doesn't immediately take off and keeps his eyes downfield. Oh, Don't absolutely. leave it. Don't leave it. Very foolish. And he's talking about Skimbo's user. He came, he bit down onto that scrambling quarterback, left his assignment. Spoto recognized it and took full advantage. This young man is playing beyond his years right now. And remember, you want to talk about confidence from Spoto. These two faced off in the group stage. Spoto won that game, 38-31. Skimbo and Spoto talked about it early. He said, you're predictable. And when I talked to Skim, he admitted, he said, no one adjusted to me better during those games than Mike Spoto. So he definitely might be in Skim's head a little bit because he's adjusting to him better than anyone we've seen all year. Nick, right, left side. Three interceptions for Skimbo. Can you get the feet in bounds? This is a pivotal drive right here, Nick. All the hard work, yes. If you're Mike Skimbo, this is what you do full time. You don't want to let your sponsors down, your lab partners down, and more importantly, yourself down. What a game so far. Skimbo on second. Oh, double coverage. Didn't look like he was under much pressure there. He got rid of the ball quickly and was the best read we've seen from Skimbo. Yeah, I agree with you, Nick. He just threw that drag. Yeah, there was two defenders he's, he's, there, and Spoto was just adjusting to him oh, so well. Go, go, go. 
Heidi looked to take a shot down the field. Third and 10. Vic. Oh, God. Nobody there. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? Coming back! Bad you are a fool. Pick you up! Are a fool. Four picks! You are a fool. Spoto! Welcome to the big stage, young fella! Making the three-time foul winner look pedestrian! Think this young man's got a little confidence right now? Look at him, He's bobbing his head, a little H2O. He's got Bugs and Rico doing more push-ups. You guys be careful how much you work my boy Rico back there, man. One more time. There was nobody open. No Look need at to this make defense. that throw. Where are you going to go? And it's Sean Taylor again, Nick. You are foolish. You are foolish. You are foolish. And this is where Spoto needs to take a page out of his pop's playbook and really continue to manage this clock like he's doing right here. The clock is not Skimbo's friend right now. And you got to use it to your full advantage if you're Mike Spoto of two possessions. Play in the backfield. And if you're Skimbo, you've made your mistakes. We're under a minute to go, but there's still time left. Can't count yourself out. Got to get a stop here, though. This photo, you got to consider running this ball. He's going to snap it once the clock's around 31 seconds. He's going to milk. Oh, he didn't milk nope. the clock. That's not smart. That wasn't a smart play right there, Nick. Is there any thought? That the, wasn't smart. The way Skimbo's shooting gaps, snapping at an unpredictable time so he can't shoot it. Uh, uh, sure, maybe, but no, it's not worth it in this situation. He Whoa. really should be taking this to the fourth quarter. Instead, now he's going for it, still in fourth the third quarter. This is how you throw football games away if you can't convert. This is huge for Mike Skim. This is how he gets back into the ball game. It's going to be a pass, Vic. Waiting, left side has a man. Oh First down, Mike Spoto. Make yourself uh -oh, a you're name, young good, fella. Dude, you're good. I read Skim's lips right there. He said, "You know what? You're just playing good." Begrudging respect. And that, I mean, Spoto really gave Skimbo a gift with that one. We really should have already been in the fourth quarter. Put your fours up, boys. Fours up. Five minutes away from a berth in the final. Spoto in control. 23-14 over one of the favorites. You can pre-order Madden 20 Ultimate Superstar Edition today. That gives you three-day early access, and it's packed to the brim with a ton of additional value, including one of our favorite ads, a Madden Championship Series pack. Five more minutes of what has been an instant classic. And don't forget, Madden Championship Saturday continues. Next, Drini, Lil Man in the semifinal. We're going to show all four episodes of the Road to the Madden Bowl. If you haven't seen that, it really is double, phenomenal. Double, double. And of course, tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN2, we crown a Madden 19 champion. Seriously, Nick, if you haven't seen those Road to the Madden Ball shows, Make sure you tune into that because that, the production phenomenal. team here at EA, they did a phenomenal job. It catches you up on the MCS action from the entire year. The production value on those things is out the wazoo. Eagle, Eagle That's a real treat before the championship game later tonight on ESPN2. It's a great way to catch up on all the action from the entire year. We're so happy you're along with us. Nick Mazesco, RG at the desk. A classic here between Spoto and Skimbo, the youngin, taking it to the three-time belt winner. Oh, look at the run for Payton. Oh, look at the hesitation. He's feeling it. He wants that belt. It's just bad stick work by Skim. First of all, he tried to shoot the gap. The hole was there. He missed it. Then he clicks on a defender, does a premature strip ball animation, strips at the air. Allows Spoto to pick up another first down. Keep the clock moving. Skim is running out of chances here. He's going to need to make a play sooner or later if he wants back in the ball game. He's looking for another one of those goal line fumbles. 
He had the gap last time. He could shoot right through one of those A gaps. Oh, picks up the block perfectly, but the good follow to backside. 21 carries, 122 yards on the ground. The ball control from Spoto has been phenomenal. Right now, Spoto with the balance of his team really paying off. Has that Walter Payton 90 plus overall at halfback instead of that tank Joe Mixon. And Payton really doing work for him right now. Whoa, he almost spun off a tackler and hit Pater. Crucial third and fourth for Skimbo to stay alive. What a story. 17 years old, still in high school. And here you are in the semifinals. The biggest tournament of the year. Going up against the best player in the world. In complete control. That's what competitive gaming's all about. Third and four. Stretch play. Big stop. Fourth down. Do you even contemplate it or do you just kick a field goal here? I think if you're Spoda, you're going to take the points. You do not want to leave points on the board for Mike Skimbo. Uh, you don't want to risk going for it on fourth down. Him stopping you, getting a burst of momentum. You're playing phenomenally on defense. Skimbo's obviously having trouble. Take the points. Look at Papo Spoto. He looks like he's going through it right now. <laughs> that intensity. He's got to be so proud, though. Oh, to yeah. see his boy on the big stage. Showing no fear. That in Island, New York's own Michael Spoto, Claremore, Oklahoma's Michael Skimbo. A kick to extend this. He's up, and it is good. 12 point lead, 2.11 to go. Skimbo off three timeouts. The 12 point lead is also huge, Nick, but now that means Skimbo needs to go and get himself a touchdown. No Field goal, no, no good. good. Still a two possession ball game. And what is pivotal for Skimbo on this drive is that he not only get a touchdown, but when he get that touchdown, he do it, does it with having all three of these timeouts with about a minute left on this clock, which will give him enough time to force the stop and then put another drive together. But first things first, needs a touchdown on this drive or his Madden season is more than likely over. Nick. Ah, look at this coverage Reed. downfield. Look at left uh -oh. side to Julio. Woo! That would have been a tight window to complete that pass. It was a misread by Skim. That slant was open over the middle, but he's already thrown so many interceptions, including one right around that same spot earlier in the game. Wow. It's Night Train Lane. Pretty good player to have out there on defense. He's one of those corners. He'll pop you like he just did right there. And Skim now, third and ten, just lost a two-minute warning and hasn't made any progress on offense. It's getting grim for Skim unless he can make something happen. Vic, third down, rolls right side. Wow, look at the defense downfield. Fourth down. Nothing working offensively for Skimbo here in the second half. It's just locked up. On, one more stop, man, one more stop. Look how pumped. The 17 year old Mike Spoto is. He's having a good time up there. That's what Madden's all about, though, right? You need to be able to have a good time while you're doing this or you're doing it wrong. Hey, two down, two down, two down. Nick, to keep the dream alive. That's huge. Moss with the catch. That is huge. That gives Mike Skim life. And anytime you give Mike Skim life, he's a force to be reckoned with. That might have been the little bit of momentum he needs, Nick, but he needs to hurry because this clock just continues to tick here in the fourth quarter. Vic, left side. Run with the Vickens. There you go. Just That's why you off. have them. Take your 16 yards. Very smart by Skim, too. Get out of bounds. Stop that clock and allow yourself to still preserve all three of those timeouts. Lazarus Skimbo locked in. There's the focus you like to see from him. You don't want it to have to come down to that onside kick. You want to score with all three timeouts and be able to kick it deep. Absolutely. First and 10. Skimbo trying to stay alive here in this semifinal matchup. Drini and Lomang coming up next. Vic. Right side, looking for the back. That's it! Oh, Spoto has just probably clinched a spot in the Madden Bowl final. 
Oh, who would have thunk? Nobody had him getting out of his group, Nick. When you asked who was going to get eliminated from Group B, every single person picked Mike Spoto. Nobody gave him a chance. And you know what? He hasn't dropped the game yet in this entire tournament. And you know what? No one gave him a chance, but with his gameplay, he's given himself more than a chance. He's given himself a trip to the championship of the Madden Ball. One game away from hoisting that belt. We had two people in the semifinals without a belt. Spoto's one of them. He's gonna have a chance at his first belt. And for Michael Skimbo, the dream of a fourth belt RG, it's not gonna happen today. A force to be reckoned with though. She's just amazing. It's a young man that's gonna graduate high school in May. And here he is tonight as he breaks another big one with Walter Payton and ends the game. GG's in the chat. One half of the Madden Bowl final. And there's the respect. Handshakes around. Your final score. The youngin', the 17 year old, Spoto, 26 14 over Skimbo. Look at Skimbo, he's keeping the, it as classy as it gets. The 2019